and which can certainly give some hope and some semblance in today's time of crisis. So I would invite Dr. Patha to take on this uh, conversation for us. Good evening friends. Tomorrow country is going to celebrate 15th August, our Independence Day. My greetings to you all on this wonderful Independence Day. You all must be surprised how uh, Public Relations Society of India is associated with uh, this particular award function and uh, engineering watch. Uh, even when, when uh, we were approached at uh, PRSI uh, that uh, this is the award function and uh, we should get associated, immediately it uh, came to my mind that anything which is going to promote excellence in India will be a great feeling. Today, we can uh, look back last six decades of India, independent India, the way we have moved forward. Whole world is looking at India as a future leader of the world. Whether it is IT, whether it is youth power, whether it is medical, everywhere Indian professionals are showing the light. Whole US economy is being directed by none other than genius Indians. That gives us a sense of contentment, feeling and uh, reassures that India is going to lead the world once again. Two gentlemen are associated with uh, engineering watch, Raghav Mittal and uh, Ravi Pokharna. Raghav means Ram and uh, Ravi means Surya means Surya Vanshi and Surya Vanshi never uh, get defeated and uh, my compliments to these two that uh, you Raghu Vanshi team will take forward your march to promote excellence in, in engineering and uh, even beyond engineering uh, to the corporate world of the country. In uh, recent years, whole economy of the world friends suffered Every individual, every private sector, public sector, across the world was in a dilemma, how to sustain. It was not the question of moving forward, it was just a question of basic sustenance. And the public sectors of India have emerged during this time as a leader. And because of public sector, Indian economy has sustained. We were not doomed because of economic pressures in recent meltdown. It was because of the strength of public sector in last five decades. But the Nehru, who, who termed these uh, industries as modern temples, today we see almost all the sectors are being led by PSUs. Uh, whenever any competition is there, you'll find uh, recently there was another award function and uh, Minister of uh, Public Sector Enterprises was also there. And he admitted on behalf of the government of India that it was PSU sector which came to rescue uh, during the economic meltdown. And uh, I'm sure you all will agree that, uh, that the potential of Indian public sector has certainly uh, been uh, utilized by government of India in a big way. And uh, in years ahead, we are going to give our best to the uh, world economy. Now friends, certain things which, which uh, come to my mind is, uh, uh, if you look back uh, before 1991 when the economic liberalization came, uh, you and me never heard of ISO 9000. Nobody knew of ISO 14000 uh, before 91. But suddenly after economic liberalization, we realized new terms in uh, business were coming up. Why ISO 9000? and uh, the, the connection of uh, corporate communication and public relations people with this moment of uh, corporate world to excel and to achieve uh, those quality standards uh, is something which needs to be highlighted. When ISO 9000 came, 
we were told about uh, the challenges of uh, you know uh, new economic which was taking shape what all is required to be done in uh, years ahead and uh, focus on quality and uh, ISO 9000. We the corporate communications people uh, understood what was the need of the quality, why it was required and what were the steps to achieve those quality standards. Uh, I was uh, working in uh, my Gujarat refining plants uh, during uh, that time where uh, the production of benzene from Indian oils refinery was being uh, given to IPCL and uh, GSFC. They sustained only on the benzene supplied by us. And that was the basic existence of the, the, these two organizations, big names in fertilizer and petrochemicals. But because of liberalization, they had an option to explore international market and they started getting 99.99% quality of benzene from abroad. It was an immediate challenge to Indian oil to improve the quality standards. While technical people had the agenda to improve quality, we the corporate communications people had the agenda to educate those shop work people to realize importance of quality. And uh, let me share with you friends, we achieved in less than one year's time those quality standards which uh, benzene of uh, international standards was being supplied to these uh, organizations and again it picked up. So we, we all need to understand business needs of the organization. The vision and mission of any company is viable for each of us in the corporate world. And unless we add value to our business mission and uh, vision, we will not be able to uh, safeguard our position uh, even in corporate communications. So, call of the day is that we understand uh, the need of business, these excellence in every sphere, uh, whether you take root of uh, quality, your uh, innovation, uh, the, the excellence everywhere is required. There was a book, Jugaad, Jugar is known uh, in typical Indian business world only. Chai hum ghar ki baat kare ya industry ki baat kare. Jugar is one thing. A typical mechanic salary will come and uh, use his hammer and he will make any equipment all right. That is Jugar. Uh, railway, you, you find they may not be very qualified people when they maintain uh, Indian railways. But that man is Typical Jugaad person, he doesn't have much of resources at his disposal, but he has to correct certain situation. He will use those Jugaads and uh, create uh, a positive uh, development in railways. So that Jugaad has to be promoted, innovation has to be promoted. We cannot sustain only on uh, performance which is mediocre. We need to come out with out of box ideas. I often share uh, two lines that uh, Ab Hawa Hi Karengi Roshni Ka Faisla Ab Hawa Hi Karengi Roshni Ka Faisla Jis Diye Me Jaan Hogi Wo Diya Reh Jayega So if we have to sustain in industry we need to be best we need to benchmark what is best available uh, in the industry and we have to match to the standards Coming to public relations friends we in our academics, we say PR is 90% doing good and 10% talking about it. What is PR? We, we create bridges between the organizations and its various target audiences. We work for image of the organization. And today, when the whole economy is looking up, global investors are looking at India as the best destination, we need to project right image of India. That will be done by my colleagues in various corporates as corporate communicators and uh, at PRSI we will do everything possible to upgrade their quality of public relation service. At times you, you find a little painful situation when you find good ads of uh, progressive companies uh, that you call 1800 some number uh, for service. And when you call in and uh, get the person who has to 
extend his service to you, you find uh, is not capable of delivering the goods. We have created a hype in favor of India, but those people who have to provide service, service after sales, have to be prepared. While we have to achieve excellence in our industries, we also have to ensure that post-sale services are also at par with international best. Coming back to our public relations efforts, as I said, 90% doing good and 10% talking about it. We don't have to do the whitewashing uh, job in our industries. We have to talk truth. We have to create credibility and uh, trust for the organization. Trust is today one thing which is missing everywhere. So my colleagues, friends, uh, use your creative communication and uh, promote excellence at the shop floor level. Whether it is promoting safety, whether it is innovation, come out with your uh, campaigns, programs, posters, awards, so that you can promote individuals to give their best. Unless individuals feel that there is a positive environment in favor of creativity, company cares for uh, out-of-box ideas, they will not be able to give their best. So create a positive environment, create a transparent environment and promote excellence. We at PRSI will be very happy to get associated with uh, these awards. Kindly uh, take these awards forward and uh, promote them so that best of the talent uh, gets recognition. My all the very best uh, to the organizers uh, for the, the success and uh, the real meaningful people should get these awards so that we can say we at PRSI were really associated with the mission of promoting excellence in the Indian uh, economy through these uh, excellence uh, awards of engineering. All the very best and thank you very much for giving us opportunity uh, to PRSI to be associated with this great mission. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, sir. Uh, I would again say...